How's it going, everybody? This is Spaniard, Northwest Fight Scene. I'm sitting here at Team Quest. I'm sitting here with UFC fighter, the barn owl, Ian Loveland. This man is fighting on March 19th at UFC 128, Hua versus Jones, and you're taking a pretty big step up. This will probably be your toughest fight to date, and Joseph Benedita, Benediva, excuse me, I probably murdered that, I apologize. Joseph Benediva, I don't think you can say that five times fast. A team <laughs> alpha male fighter, but hey, the kid's a pretty tough opponent. And you're no stranger to tough opponents, but uh, this fight is obviously a tough fight. Um, talk about the fight and uh, how you're taking it and everything that's happening now. Well, I've definitely stepped up my training quite a bit for this one. Um, I, I'm in the best shape I've ever been. This, this will be my second time making 135, and uh, I'm already a lot closer than I was uh, last time around. I'm, I'm in a lot better shape. Got almost no fat now. I'm, I'm almost down on weight. I don't think I have to cut very much. So uh, I think this is going to be the best me that I've seen, that anybody's seen. Now, um, what's it like? I mean, I mean, man, you've been around for a while, so you, you, you're no stranger to the MMA game, and now you're going up against a guy who was a number one contender at one point. Um, what's it like? Well, uh, it, it's great for my career. I'm excited about it. I think this is the most excited I've been for a fight. Um, so it's given me a lot of motivation to train, and... You know, I'm really looking forward to it. You know, he's just one of a lot of tough guys at this weight. There's kind of a new number one contender at 135 pounds every week or two. So, I mean, the guys get jumped around real fast. I know he's a tough guy, but, you know, I think I'm going to beat him up pretty good. Now, um, talk about how you and him stylistically match up <coughs> and uh, how you think the fight will play out. Um, you know, I can only imagine he's going to try to take me down. And uh, I've got a lot of reach on him. Pretty sure, you know, come – Come the next day after weigh-ins, I'm going to be bigger than him. Um, he's he's going to need to get the fight on the ground to win. And, you know, I think I can be on top a lot. I think I'm going to win the fight from on top. He hasn't been held down yet for, you know, a whole round. He's been on his back, but he, he's managed to get up. I think, you know, my strength and my wrestling is something that he hasn't seen, seen yet, and I think that's what's going to break him. Now, you both come from great teams. He's from Team Alpha Male, you're from Team <coughs> Quest. Uh, I just obviously saw an amazing pro practice. You got some amazing Spartan partners. Um, talk about uh, what your training's been like leading up to this. Well, um, you know, just everything's the same uh, as far as the team practices go. I mean, do we have world crap, world class practices Monday through Friday? So, you know, it's all the other stuff on outside of the team room that I've added in to supplement that that I think's really made a difference and. A lot of the guys on the team um, have stepped up and come in and, and done rounds with me outside of team practice. Uh, you know, Dave Jansen, Damon Wood, Pat Healy, uh, Ryan Healy, uh, Blaine McIntosh has been stepping up helping me, and you know, Tyson Nam. We've got a lot of good guys here, and uh, people have been stepping up, and uh, hopefully I can return the favor for them next time around when they get out there. Awesome. Well, it sounds like you're super confident and ready for this fight. Um, when, when you get in there, actually um, – how do you think it, you see it playing out? Well, um, I, I think for sure he's going he's gonna to feel a little bit more power than he has striking, and he's going he's gonna to be looking to get the fight to the ground quick. And he's going to run into a wall, I think, uh, trying to take me down. Um, my, my wrestling is going to be on point, and I'm going to get that top position. And uh, I'm going to be able to hold him down. And I think that's what's going to be the deciding factor in that fight, me on top. Now you're coming close to the fight. <coughs> what, leading up, what's some of the next things? Do you have any rituals that you go through to get to the fight now? Um, you know, I've been doing this so long. I mean, every day it's all the same. I mean, my normal life is a ritual leading up to a fight. You know, I've been everything in the last seven, eight years has been. I've had a fight coming up, so I, I, I think I've got it down to. You know, I, I know my routine and. Uh, the only thing different this time around, I think, is you know my dieting and, and things like that. And that kind of sucks, but it, it'll be worth it. Now, um, you're fighting at UFC 128. Uh, Hua versus Jones is a pretty big uh, card. You're pretty excited. I don't about even know who that. those guys are. Never heard of them. Never. Is Ian Loveland versus Joseph Benavidez, UFC 128. Oh, uh, you heard it here. Very confident <laughs> team quest. Ian Loveland, the barn owl. Hey, I really, really appreciate you taking the time to sit down with me. Uh, anybody you want to thank for getting you ready for this fight? Yeah, all my guys at Team Quest, um, every, everybody here is, uh, you know, the reason why I've gotten this far. Thank you. All right, Barnell, Spaniard, Northwest Fight Team, thank you.